Summers responded to Homicide Gang, and I think Homicide Gang responded after Summers dissed them in a new music video slash track. I think it was called Check Me Out, and it sounded from the snippet that I heard at least, because I haven't listened to the full thing, like three seconds, because I just wanted to be like, whoa, what is going on? Is this a real song? Because sometimes on Twitter, they just be like clickbaiting the shit out of you, being like, so-and-so dissed, whatever, and it's like, you're kind of over-exaggerating it. But regardless, Summers did in fact diss Homicide Gang in a new track because they stole his jewelry and they jumped him after he technically initiated the fight. So like, he, he was kind of asking for it, especially while they were performing. But hey, uh, after that too, the music video, we're gonna watch it in a second. They expose his jewelry for being fake. And I know they already tried to do that. And then Summers bought a new chain worth 75K and he was, he's probably rocking it in this music video, I think. But then they got DMs of him confirming that it's fake. So he was capping potentially on his Instagram story saying that it was like a real watch that was just has aftermarket parts and like diamonds or whatever, but Ugh. Okay, let's see, let's see. Summers, check me out. Let's go. Yeah, he got the new chains. The chains kind of remind me of like chrome hearts because it got those little crosses. They can cancel all their shows. They're calling them out. But I think that that show actually might have been before, it might have been canceled before the whole jumping at, at Box Fest. So. I don't know. I don't know. Still, still definitely a reference to Homicide Game. There are so many bars to dissect here that I'm trying to figure out. They said they got your big dog in my DMs. Who's the big dog of Homicide Gang? Playboy Cardi? Also, he, he referenced like punching him in the face and you were supposed to blow. Oh, calling them out because they're supposed to be homicide games, supposed to be the realest in Atlanta. But wait, let's go back a little bit. All right, so someone in the chat's like, You lost all my respect just because I didn't like the Drake album. Jesus Christ, <laughs> go go cry to your mom about it. The reason that I like the summer's bars more is because it like is relatable in a real world situation where. It's, it's a situation that we all watched. It's just like more entertaining, you know? Whereas the Drake shit, like he can talk about anything he wants, but still, I just, I'm not tapped in with the Drake life. I don't think anyone really knows what's going on with Drake's life. However, the summer situation, we saw him punch Homicide Gang in the face while they're performing and he's talking about it and he's talking mad shit. Like, it's just, it's just funny. It's like a, it's like reality TV right there. That's why it's, that's why I, I like it more. Also, it had a better beat. Like he was flowing on there. It wasn't just some boom bap beat, like whatever. Look, again, you can like what you want, but anyways, so there was a lot of bars to dissect here. Um, just talking mad shit, called himself an internet troll and all that. But in addition to it, and by the way, he sounded like young boy, did he not? That Louisiana beat. But the thing is, they're both from Louisiana, so it kind of makes sense. Also, Summers has worked with like Young Boy's engineer on the last album, I want to say, so it makes sense. I don't, I wouldn't call it necessarily a a bite or anything like some people are saying online because they uh, they're from the same area, right? When you're from the same area, you listen to the same music when you grow up or similar, let's say, and so it makes sense. But anyway. Um, and yes, yeah, Summer Punch first, I'm pretty sure. Like he was in the back and he, like Homicide Gang was, I think they just like dissed him on stage. And then he came from backstage of the green room or whatever. And then he punched him in the face or at least tried. And then afterwards, Homicide Gang, like Summers was, I don't think he had anybody behind him, but Homicide Gang rolled deep. So then they just started jumping him and kicking him and shit. But anyway, so they responded, where is it? With some DMs, screenshot, Okay, from Summers, the boy himself, the big bird, the biggest bird. And Bino's not is, or Bino's snot, because snotty life or whatever. That is allegedly Homicide Bino's or Homicide Michi's brother, one of them, part of the family of Homicide Gang. Okay, it says it right here, Homicide Bino's brother. And basically, I think they were trying to run the fade like after he got jumped, but Summers probably left because there was like a 
ambulance there there's probably police they probably just wanted to get out of there in case there were any weapons or drugs or whatever because you know how rappers be and he probably wanted to go home and and probably troll a little bit and also i just want to say summers dropped the diss track like right on time like it started to blow over a little bit he dropped the diss track reignited the beef summers is the hottest in the underground right now just because of this situation and he knows that so he capitalized so i want to see homicide game come out and diss summers on something but i doubt they will because playboy cardi is gonna crack the whip real quick crack the belt and be like no you can't do that anyway uh i talk how i talk i just said i don't give a fuck blah blah blah, blah. I don't know it's just just some bullshit them talking shit but i think there was a part where they said fake jewelry right here okay come on man be for real how much you giving i'll deliver personally i think they were telling him i'll get you your your jewelry or chain back and but you have to give him a certain amount of money whatever it's worth and apparently summer's jewelry from whoever whoever estimated it was like 200k but then he said that watch fake everything fake damn damn the man himself said it unless it's fake dms man but the thing is a couple days ago when this whole situation started he he was claiming that it was fake parts on there or aftermarket parts let's say on a real patek watch and it wasn't factory set diamonds. It was like aftermarket diamonds on the watch. So he was denying that it was fake or at least that like it was still expensive. You know what I'm saying? Like he was denying that it was completely fake or that like the diamonds were all fake. But if you have that much, that many diamonds on a, you know, on your chain, a, a tennis chain, man, that's probably, that's probably really expensive. But I guess it was moissanite or some other stone you punch the road manager twin damn he didn't even punch he didn't even punch bino or michi or one of them it was just the manager man f that jewelry i want drops and i'm gonna get them you punch the road manager what's your math what's your math what does that mean uh wouldn't even punch the manager just doing what he supposed to do so he's probably defending bino or whoever got punched in homicide game didn't see that delete too fast big brother he talked to me stupid though. I don't fuck with that. Big brother, what I even know you, I don't even know you boy. How I'm, how I'm your big bro, you a bitch. Damn, damn. So Summers himself is calling him big bro. That's crazy. He should start dropping little bros, but I guess he just dropped the diss track. So now he's little bro him. It probably is fake. How the fuck Summers afford to, well, remember he bought a Maybach which is like 250k or a quarter mil allegedly he bought a house in texas which is probably like 500k 600k whatever it is and the down payment on that's like 100 200k and apparently he got like a two million dollar deal with 10k projects not sure how much was actually in pocket for the advance like what the marketing budget was and what the uh recording budget is and what he got you know what i'm saying Usually, if you get like a $2 million deal, you'll probably get like, I don't know, 30% as an advance, but it's, it all depends. So what is 30% of 200K? It all, it varies between pro, uh, contracts. 30% of two mil is 600K. So damn, damn. <laughs> so if he got 600K, dropped 250, we're pocket watching here, then he dropped maybe let's say 150 on the house so that's 400,000 so he got 200k left he dropped 75k on the jewelry so let's say what is that 675 or sorry 475 out of 600 so he got 125k left and then whatever that other jewelry they got stolen was but maybe it was only like you know a thousand or two thousand dollars because it was allegedly fake confirmed by summers so man he might be broke i don't know but he's still making money i think he still gets money from all of his previous releases before signing so all those streams from distro kid all the songs that he he dropped independently he's still getting money from that and it's probably good money it's like you know 10k at least a month so he's living good he's living good i'm not worried about him 
uh he gotta keep dropping <laughs> i heard he was trying to get out of his 10k deal too like he wanted to be independent i don't think he's like leaving i'm just saying like once it's done i heard that he wanted to go independent again because when you get that deal like you got to recoup that that uh that money right and so maybe that money from the the label isn't coming in still because you know it might it, it probably takes a long time to recoup two mil so he wants to go back to being independent where you may not get the fat advances but at least you get the monthly income and it kind of like stifles you from or hinders you from spending all your money all at once bob pocket washing bro that's my life bro i'm a finance guy i studied finance and, and business law in college so all these legal things i'm not a lawyer necessarily but i understand it pretty well like the logic behind it but then finance like that's what i love that's what i watch on youtube every day all day i know all the little tips and tricks of different investments i got a house i got a Y'all gotta look into this universal universal life insurance policy where you can put money into it. It's invested in stocks, but then you can borrow that money from itself for like no interest and then invest that into real estate again. So you like double your leverage for free, basically. Hey man, this is what I do. Got some watches. I'm about to get like two more rollies, I think. This is what I love, man.